tried to arrange a face to face. <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> Instead, this one, this is definitely the one. <sighs> Don't move. Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The president's upstairs. Go on, shoo! Shut up. Keep walking. <laughs> Y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. Mm -hmm. huh? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh. I promise, <laughs> you will regret this.
Good job. Second win.
getting away. Providing me such invaluable combat data. Cocky little egghead, ain't you? The results provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home to extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. You are in trouble. Nope. Enough of you. Going in. Suppressing. That's it. But will they get here in time to save you from me? My, are you a soldier? Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy, you weren't. up to this time. Cloud! <sighs> Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <laughs> Save it for later. Bring it! You're mine. 
Let's get out of here. <sighs> the hell was that thing? We need to go. Aerith! What the? Come on. child's a friend. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> <sighs> Thirteen? Red Thirteen. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? <sighs> he got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch.
You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. <sighs> nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes. Understood. The VP needs us. Goodness, you're awake. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child. Are you okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. I don't want you to push yourself. We're all worried. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. 
By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well... Honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the Promised Land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? Hm. Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barrett, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes, for it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. Follow them, the yellow flowers. It's okay. We'll find a way out together. Okay. Weird. Aha! There you are! Rick, what are you doing, man? Hey guys, long time no see! Wedge? You're here? You... you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... <laughs> what was that? An explosion? Anomalous tremors and temperature HQ's levels... HQ's running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush Anomalous out the president. This <clears throat> complicates matters. Anomalous that explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. 
Non-essential staff are to evacuate. So now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. I didn't ask him to do any of that. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. Anyway, we gotta get to the roof, right? Then we can use the same elevator that Hojo did. That elevator. Was it this way? Yes. His odor still lingers. in the pods. Where did they go? That stinks in here. Back there. Now what do we do? The one <laughs> thing we can. So go give him one already! Way ahead of you.
Say goodbye. Nice job. What? Shit! What the hell, Red? Let's go. Right. <laughs> 